Harbor? Oh, yeah. Okay. I went in just uh, in 1944, the last year of the war. Okay. Uh, no, uh, see, I, December, oh, that's, a, I don't know whether I ever told you about that. Uh, Dad and me had, he had, a, it's about a job in Colorado. Hmm. And he had taken me with him. We didn't get all the way there for some reason. I cannot remember what. I guess I was probably, let's see, 1941 and 30, 27. I was close to 14, I guess, 13 or 14. Okay. And uh, coming back, we stopped the gas station in Deerfield. That's between Fort Scott and Eldridge, or Nevada. Okay. And, and the radio was blaring about Japanese was bombing Pearl Harbor. And Dad was standing there talking to the guy, and they were talking to her. They couldn't figure out where Pearl Harbor was. Oh. Well, no one at all yeah. stepped in and told them where Pearl Harbor was. Did you was. really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And it, it was, I thought, uh, I thought maybe Dad, you know, he always was very adamant. You don't talk when other when the adults are talking. Mm -hmm. And I just interrupted. And I said, That's over in the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it was it, we came back on uh, Pearl Harbor Day. Okay. And then to back to El Dorado. We just happened to stop at Deerfield and heard the radio blare. Wow. Hmm. Was your dad in the service at all? Uh -uh. No. He uh, well, he had he had all, all of us kids. I, yeah, except Bonnie. C. T. was born in 1940, the year before the war started. Okay. And uh, uh, they told him he 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 went in. He he had this signed for the draft and everything, just like Uncle Ed and all, my Uncle Roy and all of them, they were still of age uh, uh, for the Army. And uh, he he was called in uh, and told if he didn't uh, go and find a job at uh, a war plant, uh, he would be drafted. Oh. And... Uh, I don't know whether Dad, he always said, well, if he draft me, I'll go. But, uh, of course, leaving the kids and stuff. Yeah. So he went to Wichita and went to work for Boeing. That's how he kept out of it. Oh, okay. But he was he was draft age. Mm -hmm. Uncle Ed, he, he signed up and, boy, he, he, he got drafted before Pearl Harbor even. Oh, okay. He wasn't there. He wasn't in Pearl Harbor, though. Oh no, he Fort Leonard Wood. Oh okay. Down south, it's east of Springfield. Okay. That's where Terry went. Okay. For his uh, boot training. But the, the moment they did somehow the law came up and told him that he was being recalled into the army and uh, so he had he had a short very short time to go to Fort Leonard Wood hmm. and him and a whole bunch of people around El Dorado were called back okay and so he had already taken his basic training there at Fort Leonard Wood and they shipped him to Yuma Arizona and I think he got one one leave, after, maybe two, before he went to the West Coast. Mm. I think he shipped out a Ford Ord just like Terry did, and uh, he was uh, he went over. Uh, uh, forty one, forty two. He went over. To, uh, in 1942 hmm. and wound up in New Guinea. Okay. Went through that entire campaign. He was with the MacArthur's Army. Yeah. 
Wow. And uh, of course, he didn't want to go. Yeah. Uh, he didn't want nothing to do with the army, mm -hmm. but uh, he was patriotic. He sure. was, I think he. I think he. He had enough education that he knew what was happening. Mm -hmm. But they were building a new army camp down at Neo Show. He thought maybe he'd get, go down there. Oh. Dad could have got a job down there hmm. building that camp. But he went to Wichita and worked for Boeing all through the war. Mm -hmm. Wow. I worked